Today we're going to talk about calculating percentage change. The formula is very straightforward. In dealing with any number of units to look at the percentage increase or decrease, we take the new amount, subtract the old amount, and then divide by that old amount as the base in the denominator. Then to get a percentage, we multiply by 100. This approach is going to have a theoretical minimum of negative 100. Because even if we lose everything and our new figure is a zero, that means that we have lost 100% of what we started with. There is no theoretical maximum. It is infinity because it is always possible that we could have an even greater increase. Let's look at a couple of examples. Suppose our base year is last year and we sold 30 units. So we put the 30 here in the denominator and here in the numerator. And let us suppose that this year we only sold 25 units. Well, that looks like a decrease. Let's see how much of a decrease it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the calculator out and we go 25 minus 30 equals, there we have our numerator, notice the negative sign has already appeared, divide by 30 equals times 100 equals, and we get 16.66% with a negative sign there, and we're going to round that off to a negative 17%. Well, let's suppose then that we are now down to 25, and in the following year, we increase that back up to 30 and recover everything that we have lost. Would that be a 17% percentage increase? Not really, because our base has changed. So now we look at the 30, which is our new figure this time, minus our old figure, our base year figure of 25 that we put here and here, and we calculate this out. So we take a 30 minus 25 equal, divide by 25 equal, times 100 equal, and now we have a percentage increase because we went up, and this is a percentage increase of 20% because we have a different base year. So that is the formula for percentage change. New minus old divide by old times 100.